Now, Michael Johannes Kassan uh, joins me now from Iceland's capital, Reykjavik. Uh, thank you again for your time, Michael. Now, obviously, there's been all these demonstrations in, in the streets and, uh, you know, people's uh, call has been answered. This is, in fact, the, the first fall, perhaps, of these Panama Papers. Well, perhaps. Um, we had a city councilman of Reykjavik who resigned just earlier, but uh, this is the more major casualty by far. It does not mean, though, that the government of Iceland has toppled. Uh, it could be just a change of guard. And is, is this a turning point for Icelandic politics? What kind of new government are we likely to see emerge from all of this? Well, it's hard to say. Right now, the coalition party is uh, chairman is meeting with the president of Iceland, and it could be that he uh, is uh, asking for a dissolution of parliament now that uh, there is de facto a new prime minister. And it could be their attempt to uh, salvage the uh, coalition and uh, allow government to continue under new leadership. But remember that Mr. Benedictson is himself implicated in Panama Papers. And perhaps let's just go back to the Prime Minister. How shocking is this for Iceland? If you can just paint a picture for us about how people feel about this man. What kind of Prime Minister has he been? What kind of character does he hold? Well, um, he is a former, a former TV journalist and has risen into the ranks of the politics, he uh, seems to, well, being a media person, he seems to be anxious to control the, uh, the questions and the interviews that he is in. And um, he has gotten a couple of times into some awkward moments where uh, uh, media personnel have not uh, acquiesced to his demands. And so he's a little bit of a uh, uh, a new name in upper politics in Iceland, but uh, at the same time he has uh, a certain charisma that has come with his former media exposure. And following on from these allegations, do you think that there's any indication that perhaps Iceland will carry out its own investigation into the former Prime Minister now? Um, one would think so. It's, it's again hard to say uh, whether his uh, failure to declare these interests through his wife uh, in the conflict of interest forms is, a, is an overt criminal offense or just one of uh, general incompetence. One, one doesn't know. And, and uh, Icelanders tend to be kind of a forgiving and forgetful people. OK. All right, Michael, thank you very much for your contributions today. That's Michael Johannes uh, Kisan in Iceland's capital, Reykjavik.